Hello, everyone. We are back again. Um, I am going to hide meeting controls. All right. So as you can see here, we have this little audio strip. And if you go to your tools and your Nyquist prompt, you're going to see that it falls just below where we need to, um, um, in order for it to pass, excuse me. So how do we fix this? Well, you're gonna go down to graphic EQ right here. Click on that and take a moment and look over the parameters right here. Um, keep this at zero, 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 zero. And just max these out to 20 right here. These five here, 20 to 50 right there and 16K to 20K. All right, let's go. Okay. Okay, and now it's negative 92.74. So we're getting there. Let's do this again. All right, so we are now at least passing this now let's just fix up the db level a bit okay i'm gonna do normalize negative three and this can get really tricky i'm not gonna lie pass this is a little too quiet hmm. yeah so this can get a bit tricky i'm not going to lie about that just want to check over this Negative one point two. Maybe we just drop this down. Let's go negative two, negative two, negative two. Still a little there. Uh, and it just misses right there. Let me undo this. And I'm not going to lie. This is, this is still very tricky. So you'll just learn this with me. So we're right here. Um, effect, normalize. Maybe this is it. See if compressor does anything. Two one, maybe two one. Uh, yeah, that's not going to be it. That's not going to be it. Um. Okay. All right. So we have the compressor there. It's still passing. So let's at least let's at least uh, do let's at least. Let's at least test something here. And we passed just like that. So, um, yeah, so you may need to do this twice and you may need to go to the compressor, but if you stick with those steps, you should get it. And it's negative 3.1 dB pass. Um, and, and you're going to meet all your parameters right here. You're at negative 88.63, negative 21.65. So that's how you correct the noise floor. And um, apologies for uh, going through the extra steps, uh, but this can get tricky at times. And uh, what I would suggest for you is that uh, is to record a little higher so you're not meeting it. And remember, it's actually easier to reduce the noise. Um, meet meet these levels right here the rms level the peak level uh then it, and then just lower your noise floor if it's uh like negative 50 or something and you can reduce it and then it could still fall in between the negative the negative 60 and 
in the negative 90 range. So keep it about, keep it just above negative 90 and in somewhere around negative 65, I think that's going to be optimal for you for the noise floor. And uh, of course, keep the RMS level between negative 18 and negative 23. Um, that'll do it for this. Um, we've passed with flying colors. So this is how you do it. Um, also, uh, watch your noise spikes. So there, uh, when you do go into ACX, just make sure that um, you um, that you're watching for some spikes and just make sure it sounds good because even though it passed the uh, standards, there's still some things that it may just not um, come about. So uh, this is just a simple example right here, this audio track. Uh, so always be sure to go back, double check and make sure everything sounds good and always use your Nyquist prompt um, when it comes to this. Uh, so that's how you do it. Um, Let's click OK. And with that being said, stay safe, stay great. I'll talk to you all in the next video.